Hey, what's up guys? It's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and today I'm going to show you how to download Stainless Steel 6.4 for Steam and I'm also going to show you how to set it up for online battles so you can play against other people who set up the mod as well. It's actually really, really simple to download and install. In fact, Lionheart X10, I'll have a link in the description, he already has a great uh, mod, or great mod, he has a great tutorial on how to download the mod. And in fact, I just watched that to refresh my memory on how to download this mod. But uh, for whatever reason, people are still having issues. So I'm going to take it really, really slow, try to show you every detail possible, and hopefully there's no confusion. So this might be quite a long video just because I'm going so slow and trying to explain everything. But bear with me, have patience, and we'll get this up and running. So first thing, before we get started here, I want you guys to download a, um, I want you guys to download a torrent program. The reason I'm using a torrent program, I just like using torrent programs. It downloads the mod really quickly. It's easy to set up. So I'm using BitTorrent. Uh, there's a link in the description, of course. Uh, so go ahead. You can use whatever torrent program you want, but I use BitTorrent. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good um, torrent program. So you need that if you want to. If you want to follow along ex exactly with me, then go ahead and get BitTorrent. So once you have your your torrent program set up go ahead and go to this page of course there's a link in the description so you can go to the same page and you're just going to scroll down until you see some directions down here you want to go to look for this little header here download stainless steel 6.4 go to mirror to torrent and then you're going to go and click on this link stainless steel torrent click on that and then you're going to click on download now and that should automatically open up your your torrent program so just click on that there we go once it's download uh, go ahead and download it to your desktop that's fine hit OK and then it's going to start connecting here and now it's downloading the torrent it's downloading the files and really all we have to do now is wait for it to fit wait for it to finish and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this video and start it back up once the download is almost complete all right, guys, welcome back. So we've got about 10 seconds left of this down download. Now, remember that you don't have to torrent the download. You can download it any way that you want. Um, I'm just showing you how to download it one way. I've heard a couple people have issues downloading the mod. This is how I downloaded it. So just figure out a way to download it if you don't like this way, if you don't want to torrent or whatever. Um, now the download is complete, it's seeding. We can go ahead and delete that file. And uh, we can go ahead and exit out of here and we can go to our desktop and here is the recent file that we just downloaded so let's open that and then you want to go to here and then you want to open up you want to click on the little uh, horse guy over here it says stainless steel 6.3 open that up hit run hit yes next and then you want to download it in your steam file on my version it's all set up and ready to go um, for if for whatever reason if it doesn't work just go to browse go to steam steam apps common medieval 2 total war mods and then you can download it in there so we'll go ahead and hit next um, I'm gonna call it stainless steel 2 just because I, I already have a stainless steel uh, folder in there it's the one I'm using for uh, Scotland so just leave it alone you can just name it stainless steel if you want hit next I'm not going to create a desktop icon next install and now this is where you're actually installing the mod uh, this shouldn't take too long but again I'm going to go ahead and cut through this download and uh, I'll see you at the end of it all right guys welcome back so it just downloaded the uh, the file here it's letting us choose a campaign between early era or late era don't worry about that we'll finish that later just exit out hit finish and there we go we've got stainless steel 6.3 downloaded onto our computer all right so now we need to download the patch the 6.4 patch so just go back to the website and then if you look right above, it says download for stainless steel 6.4. Go ahead and uh, click on the, turrent, the torrent here. Now you could use this link here. It will take you to this website and you can download right here and download the file. You can do it that way. Again, it doesn't matter just as long as you download the files. But I'm going to use the torrent. 
once again same process hit download it's going to download right here and then once it's done i'm going to click on it it should automatically open BitTorrent. there we go i'm going to download it to um the same folder that stainless steel point three folder hit okay and then it's going to be downloading right now so yep i will get back to you guys once it's downloaded Okay, so that was a really short cut there. It's just a patch. It's really quick to download. So we'll go ahead and uh, delete the seating there. Get out of this torrenting and then go back to the stainless steel folder. And there's the patch. We're going to go ahead and click this. And that should set up the, the download here. And I don't think I'm going to have to cut this out. Uh, the download shouldn't take too long. So we'll get that set up. Hit next. Again, we want to download it into that same area. Um, I guess we'll do two again, that's that's fine. And then we'll hit next. Do not create a desktop icon. You can if you want, that's just my preference. And yeah, this is gonna take like no time at all to download. No time at all. So this should be downloading and once it's complete, then we'll be able to check the download and make sure that it's working properly. There we go, hit next, finish. All right, this is where you set up your settings and this is actually really important for online battles, but we'll get to that later, all right guys? First I want to uh, check my my file here. So go to your Steam file, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then go to Medieval 2 Total War, go to mods, and then we should see, yes, we see, here it is, this is our download. The, it looks like the patch is working um, and don't don't worry about the stainless steel here this is just uh, this is the one I've already downloaded so if you want to get this working for online battles this is so so important guys you must follow this now most people when they play online what they do is change one of the the folders for the kingdom expansions so we'll go ahead and change the Americas and this is uh, the Grand Campaign Hot Seat one, so we'll change it to that. Doesn't matter what you name it, anything will work. And then we'll go to here and change the name of here to Americas. So now when you go to Steam and you launch the Americas, Stainless Steel should launch. Alright, so once we uh, change the files there, uh, we are going to go to our Steam. And I'm going to go here and click and we should see launch medieval to americas we're going to click on the americas i'm not going to do it just yet because if i click on it it's going to screw up my re recording program so i'm just going to check if it works and uh yeah it should work though okay so i tried to start up the game and it did not work and i'm going to tell you why it didn't work and this is problem solving and this is pretty important when you're trying to set up a um a mod so when I named the folder I named it America instead of Americas so when I started up the game it went ahead and put in a new Americas folder we can go ahead and delete that we don't need that we need to go back here and add the S and now it should work so let me go ahead and go back to uh, Steam here and test it Alright guys, so I just launched the game and it's working. Stainless Steel 6.4, fantastic. This is just a fresh copy of the mod. And to get it working for online battles, put the mod in the Americas folder. Make sure you, you spell it exactly like the original folder was, Americas. Most people who play online battles use the Americas folders. So if you want to play with them, you have to use that folder. Um, if you use the Teutonic one, if you use the um, Cru the Crusader one, it's not going to work. It's going to say, you know, when you go to online, it's going to say incompatible. So you have to use that America's folder. All right, but before we can get started with online play, we have to go back and set up the features. Uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm trying to explain here. But let's go back to the desktop and I'll show you how to set up the settings for stainless steel for online battles. Alrighty guys, here we are on the desktop once again. So you want to go back to your America's folder. Re remember, it's 
not really the Americas. It's stainless steel, but you're just using the Americas folder. Then you want to go to stainless steel setup, and this is how you set up your game so you can play online battles. Go to campaigns, make sure you do the late era campaign, so click on that, and then put it on Savage AI, and you can leave all these box on. Make sure you leave all the boxes unchecked. Hit OK. And then you can hit start and exit. Uh, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to launch it from um, my Steam here. So let's go ahead and go to Steam Games. And then we'll launch it. Okay, here we are at the main menu. So to play online, it's as simple as going to multiplayer. And then going to online battles. You Don't worry. If you see this right here. Uh, let me go back real quick. If you see this info, the details game spy, don't worry about that. You don't need that. It's just there. Just uh, continue on to go to online battles. And here we are. Everyone is playing on the vanilla. So that's why it says in incompatible. If someone was playing stainless steel, then uh, you would see the game in white. You wouldn't see it in red. So that's it, guys. That's really it. It's pretty simple. If you're confused by anything, anything that I was explaining or you don't understand what I was doing or anything like that, um, leave a comment and I will surely help you out. And this name is completely inappropriate. But anyways, um, if you want to try to team up with people, if you want to try to contact people to play this game, again, not a lot of people play this on a regular schedule. So you really have to invite people to play. Join my Steam group ask people in the steam group if they want to play stainless steel that's what my my steam group is for so people can ask other people to play try out different mods and stuff so join my steam group there's a link in the description it's called apollo's knights yes it's called apollo's knights so join that it's public anyone can join have some fun guys i hope this is working i hope this helps you out and uh yeah i'll see you next time